Hello, thanks for dropping in. Today, I'm looking at another box from the 2019 World of Commodore. And as the 2020 World of Commodore, which will be held virtually, is coming up in one, two, three days. Well, from when I'm filming this, three days, December the 6th. I guess it's about time that I had a look. I have no clue what is in here, except the fact that it is a, well, this is a box. I'm not sure I need that right. As you can see, my tidy table has been used to drink, oh, some sorting. Well, what do we have here? Well, it would appear to be some sort of a RAM board for something. Something that, I think it's an older thing. These little clips on the side remind me of when you would slide things in. And then they sort of clip in, and you have to kind of tweak them to get it out. It's, um, it certainly is something from the back. Just forgive me one moment. I have, uh, there we go. I tweaked this shoulder a bit, so I'm just being a little ginger with it. Anyway, that is, uh, something. Now there is a little... says, if I could get it back in the box, defective, forward propagation of fault. Huh. interesting. Well, I'm not sure what to do with that. It's interesting. In here, I believe, is oh, it was to get out something that actually might be kind of handy. And I think I'll hold on to yes. It's another clip. Ooh, to clip onto. In the Commodore World case, I believe it will be RAM chips. Much like the bigger one I found. You squeeze it. You put it over the chip. And then you have access through the top contacts to uh, take readings and things. That looks intriguing. And somewhere I put intriguing things. This, I'm just not sure. I'm just not. similar uh, things, but are they similar? Ooh. All right, well, this gives me a little insight into where maybe some of the stuff came from. These are, except it's upside down, I think it's, oh no, don't drop it, don't drop it. These are nameplates. Hard copy interface unit. Computing Devices Company. Which I think for a while was called Control Data. Brass, da 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 da, nameplate. Next issue. Oh, interesting. Those might be good for. And they have the. Have the uh, they could not been used. Maybe there is supposed to be more things stamped on, like serial numbers. Interesting. And in this box, well, it's a circuit board edge connector of some sort. Just looking for any writing 
of which I see none. I think oops, there's some crud. Crud. I think these, oh, there's a pin. These things might be things I might pass along to the fellow who put the zip sockets in my Commodore 64. His name is Rudy, and he is going to do all kinds of videos about all kinds of neat things. He is. Here is another board that looks, well, similar, sort of, like the other one, but different in that the configuration is different, more chips. I suspect this, too, is something I remember. They had these, like, desks that did like, they were terminals, and in the side there was like usually a drawer and these things would plug into the appropriate place. Anyway, big edge connector, lots of chips, uh -huh. that went well. Huh. This is a flashlight bulb, and there's another one on the floor. I'll find that hopefully before I... Step on it. Oh, here is something. I think I had my glasses here. It is a chip. And it says, according to the container, it's from Motorola. And for off the shelf delivery. Call your franchise Motorola distributor. I, uh, it's funny, I have my glasses here, but I wish I had my other ones. Well, interesting. The rest of this appears to be more little chips and envelopes that I don't know if they're at all interesting to any Commodore person, like here's one LS-166, 74 LS-195A, 74 LS-164, anyway, I'm going to put these in this box, and maybe I'll put things that I'm kind of interested in keeping in this box, including one bulb. Um, and that can go... Anyway, I'm thinking maybe I will run these things fast through to here is, oh, 32K, 500 nanosecond Intel pinout EPRO, 24 pins. Oh. In the box. Keyboard encoder. Here is a funky chip, and all its little feet have been bent over. Uh, perhaps that means it's defective in some way. I don't know. And here's one that is not bent over. And, well, who knows? Who knows? Which one will find? This looks to be some sort of power transformer or something, I believe. And if that is nothing, I think I'm intrigued by. Let's go in the box. What is this? Oh. Well, I can read some of this. ZADA, it says. Zilog. And there's a little chip. Perhaps interesting. Ooh. Here are quite a few chips of some sort. There are some kind of things that look kind of like the size of ROM chips, and then there's 
an assortment of other cool chips. Ready? Where are you? Oh, little wires and some for you just to You never know. But something like that might come in handy for somebody else. Um, oh, in a Ziploc bag we have some little RAM things. I don't know what they go in. They are different. Oftentimes these things would sort of go in and then if they didn't plug in they would kind of, there'd be a little snapping thing. I think they could do a disk box. Alright. What is this weird thing? Alright, I think this is being run backwards. Anyway, what do we have here? And what's it got? Random House Software. Charlie Brown's ABCs. Datasoft. The original Zaxxon by Sega. Random House. Peanuts. Pictures. Puzzlers. System Utilities. Two, oh, these, I, think, I think maybe these are Apple things. C Fox. Division 1. Peanuts Maze a Marathon. Creature. Creator. I think these, and there are little apples on, like, oh, that arm, that arm, that arm, sorry. There are little apples on, so, so I will see. I will try and figure out what is what with these. I do not have such an apple thing. I'm not sure what to do. But I know there are Apple people out there, and I think if I clip this in, I think there's a couple of people I know who that would be interesting for. Oh my. Oh my word. Bankers boxes are great things for hoarders, as are Ziploc bags. That is why I had something like this. Here. again, some sort of chips. I'm kind of intrigued by the little holders. What do we have here? Semiconductor product from General Electric. Oh, I can't really hold that arm up. Can't hold that arm. These look to be like little chip sockets with very long legs. Maybe interesting. A circuit board that has some sort of little chip, some sort of testy thing. I don't know. Another 
looks to be sort of a circuit board for testing things. Um, this is a little case that has something interesting in it. But what? These, in some ways, look an awful lot like copper gaskets for the head of a motorcycle. But, do I know that's what they are? Uh, oh, I can't do that. Oh, oh. No, I don't. This is a funny little thing. It's got, I guess it plugs into something. And it does have, oh, hours. It's something that would go on something that you could keep track of how many hours the thing had been running. Whatever it is. Or whatever it's for. I don't know. Oh, here. Ooh. It's a Coca-Cola tape measure. Look at this. Look. And it's a, a keychain. Um, little electronic things in the box. Maybe a capacitor. Um, strange chip things. These may be just basically electronic scrap, but I will consult with Rudy Daystro Pacific Corporation. And I don't know, some little electronic app. What is in here? I think little wee resistors of some from Motorola. I, I keep looking at this thing. This is kind of intriguing. But I don't thick film something. Chips. I don't know. I just don't know. shouldn't mess with, or I won't. Um, mini cube blower. Yeah, this is a teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny little fan. I don't know what it would go in or what would make it happy. A little chip from Motorola. These look like sockets for funny, funny chips that mount flat. Oh, more, perhaps RAM socket things with long legs. Funny little piece of a circuit board. Funny little piece of a circuit board. More of these little socket things. You know, the one thing there might be in here, um, I'm gonna have to check on that. Maybe there's some sort of gold. What is this? These look like little connectors that would plug on to circuit, things on circuit boards, like pins. Oh, did I see one of those before? Oh, maybe I can see that. Nope, anyway, and the box. Oh, some alligator clips. I 
never a bad day for one of those. Aha. Uh -huh. A switch. With many connections. This really does look like somebody sort of, you know, let's just throw it all in there and see what's what. Fire, little chips, little chips, little connectors, and then the lock. You never know what's in an envelope. When you open an envelope, you might not know what's in the envelope. Oh, little washers. These look interesting, but I don't know if I can get them. Oh, maybe little transistors of some sort. Oh yeah, transistors. Whew. Oh yeah, this is this can be used for a number of things. Um, I think mostly it was used for early networking before Wi-Fi. Chips, wires, things. So it may just be what we might call electronic scrap. with cardboard boxes. There's always a few tiny little things. There's always something else in there. It seems. Alright. Oh. Ah! Thing. Oh, now light. I decided to shoot this today, and I've got lots of stuff to do, but I was doing lots of stuff, and I did tweak my shoulder. And it's funny, even just doing this here, oh, it does hurt some. Another clip to put onto a chip. Boy, these things, they grab. I don't think it really, it doesn't fit in that, so I'm not going to put that. Well, that's funny. I'll leave it there, because it, it says that that's what it is. But it really doesn't fit. Uh, more strange, strange chips. Ooh. Oh, maybe that's what that's for. Oops. This says it's an integrated test circuit chip, but it is not. And something rolled out of it. I have no idea what that is. No. Uh, more little, oh, 266k memory. Sim. Excellent. This I recognize from when I took electricity and electronics. You can build little circuits. Now, am I ever likely to do this? Um, 
snow, but it is rather interesting. So I will hold a small cap. Capacitors, little chips, more little chips. Is that a lot of Oh, it might be that 80 chips. Maybe worth investigating, perhaps. Maybe. What is this? thing. That's kind of cool. It's a wire. It's got these funny little connectors and it would be to go on two pins onto a circuit board. Very fine. Do you think this? That's a blank drive door for something. Uh, Alright, this appears to be a video converter to perhaps Super VHS. Perhaps. What is that? Oh, it's a puppy. Something to kick chips in. Now this might be one of the only things Commodore related in this box. I believe I have two. Yes, count them two. cartridge covers for Commodore 64 something. I'll see about them. This is something called a helipot or helipot made by Beckman. Ah. Ooh. I hope I did not do that. Oh. Well, there's some chips in here that have... They do have a gold look to them. And their pins are quite bent. Interesting. Beckman. Interesting. Well, I believe I have some interesting artifacts here. I'm not sure if I'm terribly intrigued. Uh, uh, things that I may be in, uh, kind of intrigued with. Maybe I'll put them in this Ziploc bag. If I can. And of course I do have to try and find whatever I need to drop on the floor. So, and these board things, I think, I will put in this box as well. And I suspect I will consult Rudy or some Certainly some electronics person who is more versed than I. Oh. Oh. Well, even though I didn't do much of anything, I seem to have overdone it some. But at least I looked through the boxes from the World of Commodore from 2019 before the 2020 World of Commodore. So I can pass these things along, and hopefully they will do some good. Um, yes, World of Commodore 2020. Google World of Commodore 2020. It will be virtual. I think it's being held through Zoom, um, and it is from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, I hope to be there for as much of it as I can. I hope. So, I think 
that's about all I have to say about that. I'm just pleased you got through the box. If you saw anything that you're intrigued by, let me know. Or baffled by, let me know. Um, until we meet again. I remain. Ugh. I think I do anyway. <sighs> oh.